gotta, I gotta say, Katie, great job. Great, great job tonight. I, I agree. Uh, uh, I'm a little bit scared of this. Or she might, I don't know. I mean, that cherry popper, that's, you popped his cherry so hard, I thought he was going to be bleeding everywhere. It was, it was, it was gross. It was amazing. Hey, what are you guys doing here? What do you want? Yeah, we're fine. What do you want? Just a compliment. Yeah, we're going to congratulate, man. Lisa, I, listen, she did a great, great job beating Paul and Sage and well, everybody. I mean, you're, you're fighting Sage tonight, right? Yeah, I am. You know that's my brother, right? You, you messing with my brother? Yeah. It's all right, man. You should kill him. Kick his ass, man. Don't forget that Hera and I are fighting you two at Doomsday for those titles. Don't forget about that, all right? Listen, I see how you guys are complimentary. I see what's going on. Listen, uh, I'm, we'll try to play nice guy. We're all, we're all friends here. We're, friends? Yeah, friends? Friends? I mean, we're friends. friends. You guys Listen. are friends. Listen, I, 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 would, friends. I would just say congratulations, Stop man. right here. Hostility. Listen, I just wanted to say congratulations to Katie. And I know you're going to beat my brother tonight, man. He, he, he's, he's a big guy. I know you can beat him. I just want to, well, actually, speaking of brothers, speaking of brothers, what, what's going on with your brother? What do you care? What do you care? My brother and I have a restaurant. Okay? Oh, really? Yeah. Uh, Barracks! Yeah! And I've been there a couple times, man. Good food, man. Yeah, Good yeah. Cheap beer. I, I love it, man. That's cool. I mean, you want to, can I come around sometime? One more time? No, just to, like, no? you've been there. You know where it is. I See know. for yourself. Let's All right. Go. Come on. You know, I hate, to, I hate to see her go, but I'd like to do that. You know what I mean? <laughs> Did she get your letter? Yep. And she'll find another one in her bag later. You see that? You see that cherry? Hey, you take my advice I gave you? Yes, Chuck. Flowers and chocolates. I mean, that's totally your idea for flowers and chocolates. Guys haven't been giving girls flowers and chocolates since the beginning of flowers and chocolates. But I got her chocolate. You know, chocolate covered cherries. Good deal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, so, uh, you guys yeah. want to know the, uh, the game plan? Game plan, yeah. man. What is it? Listen, Chuck, Grim is a big, hairy thing. And if sucks you lost, I'm, I'm pretty sure he cheated. Rake the eyes, I saw it, man. I think uh, I think you should take your uh, frustrations out on Smokey tonight, man. What do you think? <laughs> right, Sounds yeah. good. Yeah. Yeah, so by the way, did you sign up for the Doomsday Championship ladder match? As a matter of fact, I signed up as soon as I came in today. Boy. Whoops. Dynasty. You're, uh, you're getting the man I beat last week, man. Jitsy Lambo. Uh, the guy teamed up. You were wearing the mask. You were crispy yeah, at the time. Yeah. You'll be oh, fine. Oh, he's the one that fell on me. That's right. Yeah. yeah. All right. Let's move this way, guys. We we got to build up our confidence. Uh, listen, but this is what I want. No macho crap. No, no raking of the eyes. No low blows. All right. I want it clean tonight. Please, I'm trying to impress Kate. Um, I did. Can you can you guys promise me that? Right. Can I get a Ubra? Ubra? Uh, what are you gonna do to me, nice? Well, uh, let's see. I'm sure as hell not fighting Grim, but uh, I'm not fighting Grim. Uh, I was thinking about fighting Grim. I think somebody else might fight Grim. He's a man. He's a man. He's an amazing man. No, please don't. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? Uh, you heard about that? Yeah. No. Wait. Amazing man. Ready? You ready for this? Shazam! <gasps> Oh, um, I like the Power Rangers. Uh, Blue one was my favorite. He was kind of dark, but... Well... Uh, wait, what? No. There it is, buddies! Oh, God. And the best part about it is, if I lose, which I'm not, if I lose, the loss goes to Captain Amazing. Come on, guys. Shazam! Come on. Let's go. No, you guys are... I'll, I'll tell you what. Welcome back to Aftermath, ladies and gentlemen. It is now time for some one-on-one -on -one action. We're full metal jacket. Sergeant Charles Hatchet is going to go one-on-one -on -one with WAW's resident smoker, Smokey. Here comes Sergeant Charles Hatchet making his way out to the ring. Captain Vincent Sorello just asked his full metal jacket teammates to 
remain as sportsmen because it turns out that Captain Vince Cirillo is the one who is sending love letters to Katie Doobie and he's trying to impress her. She has no idea that he's behind it, but he wants FMJ to remain as sportsman so maybe he can stand a chance with Katie. And now we await the arrival of Smokey. Another thing that we found out in this uh, previous segment with Full Metal Jacket and Total Chaos is that Captain Amazing will be here tonight on Aftermath doing battle with Griff. Now our fans here at Murphy's Gym do not have the benefit of a video wall to see what's going on as the show progresses backstage. So these people are going to have no clue that Captain Vincent Zarello is back under the mask as Captain Amazing. So later tonight we will see the unstoppable monster Grimm against Captain Amazing. Unbelievable. So this match gets underway. It'll be interesting to see if Sergeant Charles Hatchet can remain a gentleman here and within the rules and as a sportsman. We'll see if he can maintain that for Captain Vincent Zarello's love interest. Smokey going behind with a hammerlock. I think that's the most offense I've ever seen Smokey have. And he's actually ducking Hatchet's attempts at reversing. And now Hatchet reverses back into a hammerlock of his own and then floats over into a side headlock on Smokey. And Smokey breaks it into an arm ringer. Smokey's setting records here. The most offense the kid's ever had since he debuted. Charles Hatchet rolls through one of acrobats there by Sergeant Charles Hatchet back into the side headlock on Smokey. Smokey sends him off the ropes and a shoulder block takedown by Smokey. Smokey off the ropes, jumping over Hatchet. Hatchet catches him. I don't think he got nearly as much of that as he was looking for, but he's still got enough to drop Smokey. Hatchet now has Smokey. Backs him into the ropes. Irish whip reversed by Smokey. Oh, and a close line by Smokey. He's so stoned he almost fell over. Forearm shot by Smokey. Chest first. Hatchet goes in. What's Smokey going to do here? Oh, falling reverse DDT. Smokey now heading up to the top rope. I don't know if I'd recommend this. He's on the hottest streak of his life here. One tong pong. Oh, nobody home for the one tong palm. Catch it now. Oh, a kick right to the spine. Running in, kicking Smokey right across his vertebrae. Oh, there's another one that'll send a couple of those vertebrae, vertebrae loose and a third. Oh, kick right to the face. I don't believe that. That's the, the To me, that's not very sportsmanlike, trying to kick your opponent's head off. But, hey, whatever. He hasn't broken any rules yet. So i got to applaud Hatchet for that. Big pom bomb. This should be off for Smokey. We're going to cover. We're going to count. We get three. It's Sergeant Charles Hatchet. Hey, got to give him credit. He stayed within the rules. He didn't break any rules. He didn't do anything dirty. And he walks away the winner here tonight. Now he's got the microphone. Right. Smokey. Got ourselves a participant signed up for the Doomsday Ladder Match. 
WAW's resident stoner Smokey joined Sergeant Charles Hatchet in the ladder match. And strangely enough, Hatchet remained a sportsman throughout the entire thing. Aftermath returns coming up next.